Hi. Windsor & Newton created a range of professional watercolour synthetic sable brushes and today I'm going to demonstrate how they perform alongside natural professional sable brushes. This innovative brush is handmade with high quality synthetic sable hair, birch wood handles shaped for comfort in your hand and seamless nickel for rules. Windsor & Newton's unique brush making expertise provides artists an alternative. The blend of synthetic bristles offers the quality and performance you typically see in a natural sable brush. These are both round, size 12 brushes. I'm going to work with the synthetic sable first, on cold pressed Windsor & Newton watercolour paper. Before using these, I'll wet this area of the paper with a synthetic mop brush. This is perfect for pre-wetting paper when you want this technique. Now. With my synthetic sable loaded with colour, I'll let the paint bloom in the wet paper. Here are some marks on dry paper. As you can see, the synthetic brush carries quite a large amount of water and colour and allows for easy to control marks. Using the natural brush is similar. The marks vary with the pressure you apply. This size is a good choice for covering a large surface area. Next, I'll show you a professional watercolour synthetic sable rigger in size 6. It has a longer brush shape, making it perfect for precision and fine detail. It responds sensitively to the pressure you apply. I'll transfer over to the natural sable now, and the marks retain the same qualities. Make an easy and light dance of painting and explore the range of marks you can make with these brushes. Finally, I use the one stroke brush to lay out large areas of colour and for bold, wide marks. This shape is great for creating edges, but be sure the brush is wiped gently with a cloth so it is not too wet or your edges will bleed when the watercolour settles into the paper. This is a beautiful effect when you want to do that but unhelpful if you want an edge. When cleaning your brushes, swirl them in a jar of clean water and then run them under a tap until the brush runs clear. To reshape the tip, swirl it in a jar of water again and then gently flick the remaining water off, leaving it to dry naturally on top of the jar. If you invest in the best brushes and care for them well, whether real or synthetic, you will find they will last a lifetime.